when I received the first phone call about Anderlecht. Uh, that was the first time in my coaching career lately where I thought, you know what, that, that's, an interesting, uh, that's an interesting thing. I want to hear more about this. Yeah, basically I had 10 years in Copenhagen. Um, a massive club, uh, the biggest club in Scandinavia. You need to be in a club like Copenhagen that needs to win the championship every year, play European football every year. The demands are sky high. After that, a complete different challenge uh, in Brentford. Uh, a team that came from the second tier in English football uh, had to do unbelievable things to promote with the lowest budget, um, with the worst training ground. And for me to be a part of a project like that where you had to create magic and you had to get the best out of everything, a talent project where you had to make talent flourish, make players that was not Premier League players become Premier League players. I had a top relationship with Sir Thomas Frank, who's the head coach of Brentford. Basically, I've known him for many years. Um, Thomas knew my qualities. And uh, one of the reasons I also found it attractive was that it was a partnership between me and Thomas. Because of the responsibility Thomas allowed me to, to have in Brentford, I never felt as an assistant coach. Um, I, I was working on, on head coach uh, elements in, in Brentford anyways. I thought this is a project that I really, really enjoy to be a part of. I knew quite a bit about Anderlecht uh, because um, obviously I'm born in 78. Uh, throughout the 80s, um, Anderlecht was a massive club in Denmark. Uh, you had Maud Nolsen, you had Pierre Freeman, you had top players uh, coming to, uh, to, to Anderlecht. Pierre Setter back from Sweden. So some of the biggest stars uh, at that time in, in Danish football was playing for Anderlecht. 34 championships, I think that speaks for itself. So uh, I think that that's probably the, the picture I've, I've had since my childhood. In youth tournaments, Anderlecht was always the, the best team. <laughs> and I remember I always thought, that's crazy, you know, that you see so many big clubs in Europe um, with massive budgets. But when you travel to, um, to uh, tournaments abroad, Anderlecht is always the best team. So I've always been, I mean, the last 10 years, I've always been very attracted to, to that academy thing in Anderlecht because I've, I've said, that, like, if, if a club like Anderlecht can, can continuously produce these talent, oh, that, that, that's amazing. And, and to be able to be a part of that now is just a massive privilege for me. Um, from my time in Premier League um, uh, and also English football in general for the last four or five years, to see the, the quality that's come out on the other side in, in the best league in the world with Tielemans, Dendonka, Lukaku when he was there. Um, it, it's amazing for, for me to see the quality there. And if I'm honest, uh, I think one of the players who's, who's harmed Brentford the most is basically Tielemans. <laughs> Every time we played them, he, uh, he did bad things to us. So, I mean, uh, knowing that, that he's a part of that system uh, kind of only, only uh, made my, um, my admiration to, to, to the academy system and Andre even bigger. Every single day I want a top session. It might be for one hour, it might be for two hours, it might be defensive, offensive, but when we are out here and when we train, it's maximum intensity. For me, youth has always been uh, my, my main desire in, in football. Uh, I love to see people grow. I love to help them grow. Um, and I think as a coach, the big satisfaction to see someone come with a massive talent and help him develop that into something productive uh, and make it flourish. Is, is for me, uh, it has always been for me, one of my great satisfactions in football. So that's also why my link here to come here and see all the great young players you have uh, here in Antelect. Uh, so much quality uh, is, is such a great link for what I've seen there in Copenhagen as well. And, and with a club that puts so much emphasis on getting the youngsters through and with a fan base that, that loves to see young players, I think that makes everything so much more easy. Hey, go, go. Come again. The Anderlecht team I want to see um, is uh, an aggressive Anderlecht team. I want us to come out uh, with energy, pace, power. I want us to be a team that's impossible to break down. Uh, I want us to be a team that regains possession quick. Um, that never allows the, opp uh, the opposition to take uh, the initiative. Um, I want us to be a team that comes out uh, with all the energy uh, that we can in every single game. I want to make sure that we show how much talent we have in the squad, 
that we are not a team that's afraid to make mistakes. We need to, um, to go out and, and love to play football, love to entertain uh, football-wise. Uh, and then if we lose the ball, if we make mistakes, we are a team, then we fight for each other, then we win the ball back quickly. But that opportunism, uh, that freedom and that self-confidence, that's the underleg team I want to see. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to do that uh, quite soon.